Good morning, wonderful, amazing, sweet, and lovely people. How are you all doing today? Hope you all have an amazing day today. Hope you're having somebody to steal your joy. Welcome to my Amsterdam for Life. Today's a beautiful day. Thank you so much for joining me. You guys are so amazing. Woo! Today's a beautiful day, and I'm super happy to be here, y'all. Thank you all so much for checking out my vlog today. You guys are awesome and amazing. So, what to talk about today? What to talk about today? I have a lot to talk about today, but first, I want to say thank you to all of you who have been so supportive of everything that I've been doing. Appreciate you guys for all of your support. Thank you to all my ride or dies, all these amazing people who are just like for me. And you guys don't even live close to me, but you're for me, like you're just amazing. So I'm grateful for every one of you. Thank you to those of you who have supported my fundraiser so far. You guys are awesome and amazing. Make sure you share the fundraiser link with people you know would benefit from it. You know what I mean? From just the the fulfillment of seeing everything come into fruition you know what i mean so i'm very happy and very very excited about this docuseries that we're going to be filming in nigeria it's going to be awesome and amazing you guys are going to get to see the airport in nigeria you're going to get to see the journey the transitions and everything meet my family and check the whole thing out there's some segments that i'm going to even include in it you know what i mean that i'm thinking about it's going to be great like this docuseries will be amazing so be a part of the of um of it and support today any amount you know goes towards the grand amount that we're looking for so and will be appreciated greatly so thank you all so much you guys are awesome and amazing the kids passport appointment is coming up pretty soon everything is going to go well we got everything we need so everything's going to go well in the meantime, I just want to say thank you once again. You guys are awesome and amazing. You're the real MVP. Thank you for all of your support, your likes, your comments. Your comments are awesome and amazing. Sanja, Grandma Sanja, thank you so much. You're so amazing. Your comments always light up the day. I look forward to reading your comments every day. And who else? Lots of you guys, you know, a lot of you guys just comment every time and you just make my day. You bring joy and sweetness into my day when I see your comments. So thank you all so much. You guys are amazing. So today I want to talk about I want to talk about how we stop ourselves from actually advancing. You know what I mean? Every one of us, we know that when people do something to us, when people hurt us, they lie against us, they gang up against us. The plan behind all of that gang up and the thing that he did is to stop us from truly becoming who God has created us to be. Is to discourage us from taking steps towards the goals that God has given us and goals that we set for ourselves is to make our lives miserable. You know what I mean? Because the devil uses people just like God uses people. And we all have the ability to say yes or to say no. So, but most of the time we focus on the outward and we think that it's all people, it's all them, it's all them, it's all them, it's all them. And we really don't take responsibility of our part. So in my case, when I was betrayed and lied against and but but the person I cared about and some people, I, um, it was heartbreaking and I was wondering why, you know, I asked God, why, why, why me? Why that? Why this? Because they should have known better, but they didn't know better. Obviously people have their selfish desires and aims and they would do anything just to get an approval of other people. If they see like, if they look like they're getting support from other people from pulling somebody down. So they'll want to do that and add kerosene or fuel to the fire. In my case, that's what happened. But see, I have always learned I don't know how this came about, but I've always trusted God. I've always, I've always had a heart to seek divine support. And this has been like a thing that has been happening to me forever. And I'm not really good at ganging up together with people and going against somebody. I do not like that. I've been in situations where some girls on my basketball team or on some things, some meeting, some groups that I've been in would have, would have wanted to go after somebody, pull somebody down, do this. And I would always say, no, I don't want to be a part of that. You know what I mean? And when you decide to stand out and say no to the norm, of course, opposition will come against you. People will try to come at you. But every time they failed, every single time, Initially, the way it would start, it would look like they were going to win. But when I take it to God in prayer and then focus on my task at hand and forget about whatever they're trying to do, all of the distractions and just focus on the task I have and keep committing the situation into the hands of God, God takes care of them and God takes care of me. 
God removes them from my path, elevates me, and gives me so much breakthrough and blessings beyond my imagination. The very same people who want to see me fail are the ones who are forced to recognize my accomplishment. In the midst of them, God puts a crown of honor on my head and I shine. What am I saying? Don't try too hard to defend yourself to people who will never understand you. Don't try to fight for yourself. Let God do, fight your battle for you. You just focus on what God has placed in your hands, your business, your children. You just focus on being the bigger person. You know, yesterday I read this um, post by Pastor Kim. She said, don't clap back. It's a paraphrase. I can't remember exactly what it is, but I know the meaning of the post, the meaning I got from it. Don't clap back. This is a season where you don't clap back. You let God clap back for you. You just focus on the task that God has placed in your hands. You just focus on building yourself. You just focus on communicating and, and making your relationship with God stronger. And don't worry about those people doing you wrong, gossiping or saying all kinds of negative things about you or against you just so they can get support from people or they can form a group of negative people who are trying to pull others down and, and you're like the one who's currently on their radar. Just the same people God is going to use to announce you to bring greater support and opportunities your way. They are just going to give you free press, which will lead to your breakthrough. And God is going to use everything that the enemy is meant for evil for your good. So you don't worry about them. Don't worry about them. And that really touched my heart because that's exactly what I do. I used to, I remember when I, I didn't used to do that as much as I do now. I focused on trying to prove myself and trying to get back and clap back. It was exhausting, y'all. It was so exhausting. I could not believe it. Like I was so tired because the enemy is relentless. If you want to play the enemy at this, with this game and try to go back and forth because he wants your attention. He knows that if he can steal your attention, he's stealing your energy. And whatever you put energy into, it fires up. It's like pouring, adding fuel to the fire. It just blows up. So I have realized that the best way to answer the devil is to not focus on the devil. Focus on God. Focus on what God has placed in your hands. Bind the devil. Give that situation to God. When you give it to, to God, the devil will disappear. All you will see is the glory of God. Everything that is planned to harm you, God is just going to need to turn it in your favor. It's not going to stand. It's not going to prosper. And that's the plan of God for us. God has so much for us. Peace and joy and sweetness and a wonderful life. But we stand in the way of that blessing by trying to fight battles that God is the one who should, who should be fighting. The Bible says the battle is mine, see at the Lord. So this is not, this is really, this is not the age of, of, of religion where you're going to do it. Oh God, you cry in the secret and then you go out there trying to figure out ways to appease your enemies. Hell no. The Bible says the kingdom of God suffered, suffered violence. Only the violent take it by force. What does it mean? What does it mean? It means to take your battle to the throne. Say, God, I know that you see this. Fight my battle fight my battle thank you because nothing can stand in your way so nothing can stand in my way right now while you fight my battle why will you remove your opposition while you give them back everything that they throw back multiply by by ten thousand folds i'm going to focus on the task you give me at hand i'm going to focus on the growth and the expansion i'm going to focus on this lord expand me increase me you see what i'm saying when you focus on the good you focus on the lovely on the true everything else will take care of itself everything else will take care of itself and this is true in my life for a long time i was expecting certain people to do certain things that they were supposed to do to play their own part and do their fulfill their own responsibilities but they were not and it was hurting me it was hurting my spirit and my bones when i decided you know what i'm not even going to focus on them anymore i'm just going to focus on doing my part being the best i can be fulfilling all the desires all the needs of my children what is needed even at the at my business just doing the things the part that i can do i just committed into him the god the hand of god not only has god increased me in the, in terms of um experience but giving me peace and joy and stability and wisdom like i've never had before why am i telling you guys this Many a time we feel like we need to keep going on the physical, keep attacking, keep attacking, keep doing this, keep talking back, keep slamming back, keep doing it, blah, blah, to see who's, who gets the last stroke or, or the best rebuttal. Y'all, the best response is still silence. Silence is still the best response. 
when you've done everything you know how in the physical you've tried to respond you've tried to clear your name you've done all of that and it's still not working stop i'm not saying you shouldn't do that because me i would do that once or twice to make it known that i at least i did something and then i stop you stop getting back baby you stop it now you go back to the silence. You meditate on the good. You focus on the good. You call forth the good. You surrender everything to God and watch God come through for you like never before. That's it. If God is fighting my battles, then I shouldn't be fighting my battles. I should be at peace. I should be enjoying the blessing, right? So in order to enjoy the blessing, I actually have to enjoy the blessing. How do I do that? By letting go of the things that are not the blessing. So I don't know who I'm speaking to today, but I know I'm speaking to myself. When I've done the best that I know I can, I got to let the rest go and let God handle the rest. There's nothing else I can do, so we'll let God handle the rest. And once you step back and you quit resisting and doing too much, you see how the grace of God will take care of the rest. And that's exactly what's happening to me in my life. And, you know, just wanted to share with you guys. I hope this message <laughs> touched your heart in some ways. If it does, if it did, make sure you like and subscribe and comment in the, in the description box below eh, not the description the comment section below and let me know how it is that you're allowing god fight your battles how are you doing it how are you letting go and letting god how are you gonna let go and let god today i want you to comment in, in the in the comment section i'm used to saying description box but in the comment section below comment i know some of you guys will say mariam is difficult is it no it's only difficult because you make it difficult because you're so used to talking back, so used to fighting and trying to clear your name. Yo, no matter how hard you try, you can never clear your name. You can only say, but it's your word against theirs. I'm saying that if you've been trying to do that, it's still in your peace and your joy, and there's nothing else you can say. Be quiet, go to your, clo your prayer closet, pray about it and let God handle it, and don't focus on it anymore. Focus on the task at hand. Let God fight it. When people try to bring your mind to it, say, no, God is fighting it. I am not going to worry about it. I'm not going to think about it. I'm going to let God fight my battle. That's what I'm saying. And some people are like, oh, yeah, maybe easy for you, but it's hard for me. It's hard for you because you think it's hard. You haven't given it a try. You're so used to trying too hard and trying to clear your name, trying to do this. You get exhausted and lose sleep over something that God has already taken care of. You got to let go. Trust the plan of God. Your mind is so used to like trying to control stuff that now that you've, I'm telling you, I'm inviting you to try letting it go and letting God in and seeing how the divine will just turn the situation around. It's like, no, your mind is telling you, no, it's going to be hard. No, your mind is tricking you. Try to be the master of your mind. I say, you know, I'm going to let God handle it. Do the exact opposite of what your mind is leading you to. Your mind is leading you to try to defend yourself. Don't defend yourself. Don't say nothing. Keep your mouth shut. Do your talking in the prayer closet. Do your talking in the prayer closet. Let God take care of you. That's what I'm saying. And that's what I've just come down to. You know what I mean? God is in control and I'm trusting the Lord in everything. And I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to worry about nothing because I know God is in charge. So anyways, you guys, that's all I have for you today. Um, I'm grateful for every one of you, all of your support. You guys are awesome. I'm, I'll be going live shortly as well. I think the live video is going to go up first before this one. So thank you all so much. You guys are awesome and amazing. I appreciate every one of you. Um, make sure you support the fundraiser. This docuseries is going to be the bomb. It's going to be the best. It's going to be amazing. I promise you. I'm in charge of it. Y'all, anything I do is beautiful. It's golden, baby. The hand of God is upon it. The Lord always directs my steps. So I know this docuseries is going to be absolutely amazing. It's going to be an experience for every one of us. So make sure you support today and you let your family know and your friends. If you have a business, you want to collaborate with me on this so I can shout you out and you support. Go ahead and support and um, sponsor today. The link to the GoFundMe page is in the description box below. Check it out, all right? Thank you all so much. You guys are awesome and amazing. Love you all so much. And I'll see you guys in the live broadcast soon. Or Maybe you've seen the live broadcast before you before you see this. But whichever one, thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye, wonderful, amazing, sweet, and lovely people. I will see you now later. Bye.